You're 60 feet tall, you're 100 feet, but the stack's up, but you know the stacks are already down, so you got 60 feet of height. You're going toward a bridge that you're probably too tall for. You got a current that's a flood soaked current kind of pushing you from the back. Are you just going to kind of sail toward that bridge and put some guy out there with a pair of glasses and say, well, Captain, I don't know, let's give it a shot. Looks pretty close. A couple of inches here and there, we can make it. You got to be a little more scientific. So what you do, you want to do it right, what you do is you take this boat and you turn it around, backward. You keep the paddle wheel going forward a little bit to keep it steady and also if you need to get out from underneath that bridge in a hurry at least you can speed it up and then you let the current kind of ease you back toward the tallest part of that bridge slow and easy you take a guy usually the first mate or the second mate whichever one is more expendable you put him <laughs> you put him up by the calliope whistles you give him a stick in his hand it's got some red paint on it we call it his baton rouge <laughs> I have a picture to prove the veracity of my statement. This Baton Rouge, if any part of that Baton Rouge touches the bridge, the front end of the boat is going to be too tall and we cannot make it underneath. And that's the only way we tell. So we've, we've measured and we're still not going to be able to make it. So we pull out. Don't go back to Paducah as much as we enjoy the quilting museum. We go to a little town uh, not too far from there called the Mound City. Mound City, uh, renowned for its Civil War grave site. And we're going to just park there overnight. Now the way we park is we we need nine feet of water is all we need to park this boat. Nine feet of water and something to tie a rope to. And uh, usually that's a tree or a stump. We call it we call it choking a stump. Now, literally that's what we call it. So when you go home after your vacation with us, and I know that many of you have never used the term choking a stump, uh, when you go home and your friends say, hey. What did you guys do on your vacation? You can say, well, we choked a stump. Okay. And they'll go, oh, wish, wish we could have been with you. <laughs> anyway, that's how we you know, you find a tree, you find a stump, a, a rock, a dead cow, something that's going to hold that rope, tie it up tight, keep you held up against that beach, and, and you're in good shape. So we're going to choke a the stump there overnight. Next morning, we're going to try this bridge again. We choked a stump in Mound City, waiting for the dawn. Hung around the Calliope bar, stifling a yawn. At 6 a.m., the captain cried, easy as she goes. Move the grand American queen to face her fearful foe. Where the river is rising, and it turns and dies. North to Paducah, we're going north, the rise is on. Way up north to Paducah. Way up north to Paducah. Way up north to Paducah, we're going north, the rise is on. It's six o'clock in the morning, everybody's awake. And they don't mind being awake because we're giving away free Bloody Marys. 400 drunken passengers at six o'clock in the morning. We have another problem at six o'clock in the morning. Now things have gotten a little more difficult. The weather has changed. The wind is now blowing 30 miles an hour across our bow. We're 60 feet tall the 30 mile an hour wind blowing us sideways. We are a sailboat. <laughs> now the big problem, number one, can we get away from the land with that much wind forcing us toward the land? Now we have to get enough power in our boosters to pull ourselves away from the land against the wind. Number one. Number two, we gotta get out to the river, which is now choppy because it's a heavy wind and there's actually little choppy waves, not, not overpowering waves, but choppy enough that it kind of shutters the boat a little bit this way with all that wind you can go this way or that way and we don't want to become a permanent part of the illinois central railway bridge so we need to keep the boat steady we need to find the highest part of the bridge and it's going to be that much more difficult so the captain has a lot of problems and he's thinking the way captains always think you know and he sees on the other side of that bridge he sees a little towboat called the harvey davis and he and he gets an idea and he called now that's the side of the bridge we want to be on you know and he this little towboat, by the way, is uh, what they use to tie up barges. You know, they, they move a barge, they tie them up with these steel cables, and then the big towboats will take the loads that the little towboats create up and down the river. So anyway, he calls the little towboat on the phone, and he says, Oh, little towboat, 
Won't you please help our big steamboat to get under the bridge and take our nice passengers to New Orleans? Won't you please help us, little towboat? And the little towboat said, I think I can. I think I can. So the little towboat that could comes underneath the bridge. He's got to get between us and the land, so he kind of wiggles in between us and the land, and he starts to push, 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 chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. The little towboat pushes, pushes, pushes. It takes about 45 minutes to get us away from the land. We get out to the river. Now we got to line ourselves up at the tallest part of that bridge. We put the towboat on one side, pressuring us in one direction. Our Z drive is pressuring in the other, so we're pretty steady. First mate, the Calliope whistles with his Baton Rouge in his hand. We try this bridge again. With a Harvey Davis by our side, we measured our attack. Held our breath and watched our queen approach the railway track. And we raise our arms in victory as we squeeze between the crack. And he yelled, so long, Paducah, we ain't coming back. Oh, man, the river is rising. Big to surprise him. Oh, to Paducah, we're going north to rise as I'm way up north to Paducah, way up north to Paducah, way up north to Paducah, we're going north to rise as I'm.